Okay, Faisal and Gary ran in a race. So when Gary had completed the race, Faisal had only run 5 over 8 of the distance. Okay, that means that Faisal's speed is 5 over 8 that of Gary's. So we can represent the speed of Faisal and Gary using this model here. Faisal will be 5 unit and Gary will be 8 unit. And Gary's speed was 75 meter per minute faster than Faisal's speed. So we can say that Gary is faster by 75. So this 3 extra units refers to 75 meter per minute. So what was Faisal speed in meter per minute. Okay, so we know that 3 units is 75. So 5 units, it will be 5 divided by 3 times 75. We will get 125 meter per minute. So Faisal speed is 125 meter per minute. Sharon and Sing Yi started cycling at the same time along a 4.5 kilometer track and both did not change their speed at all and Sharon cycled at 375 meter per minute and when she reached the end of the track Sing Yi was 600 meter behind her. So what, what was Sing Yi's cycling speed in meter per minute? So we know that 4.5 kilometer is actually 4,500 meter. Okay, and when Sharon finished 4.5 kilometer. Sing Yi was 600 meter behind her. So that means 4500 minus 600, we have 3900 meter. So when Sharon finished 4500 meter, Sing Yi only cycled 3,900 meters. Okay, so we can express the distance covered by Sing is to that of Sharon and that will also give us the fraction of the speed. So 3,900 divided by 4,500 we have 13 over 15. So we can say that Sing is speed was 13 over 15 that of Sharon's. Okay, so we know that Sharon's speed was 375 meter per minute. So we can say that 15 units is 375. So Sing E speed will be 13. 13 units is 13 over 15 times 375. That will give us 325 meter per minute. So Sing is cycling speed is three to five meter per minute. May and Lin took part in a cycling race. May cycled at a speed of twenty km per hour and both of them did not change their speed throughout the race. When Lin covered half the distance, May was 3.5 km in front of her. So that means when Lin reached the halfway point here, May would have covered 
an additional 3.5 kilometer okay so may reach the finishing line at 10 45 a.m so what time did lin reach the finishing line okay so we have to extrapolate this so if let's say lin were to travel another half the journey to reach the end point which is here lin would have reached the end point plus covered another distance of 2 times 3.5 km if she were to continue cycling okay so we understand that the time when Lin reached the end point this time is equal to the time if May were to cycle 2 times 3.5 km from the end point after she has reached the end point. Okay, so the additional distance traveled by May it will be 2 times 3.5 we get 7 kilometers okay and what is the time taken for me to cycle 7 kilometer that will be 7 divided by her speed which is 20 km per hour okay we will get a 7 over 20th of an hour and if we were to change 7 over 20th of an hour to minutes it will be just 7 over 20 times 60 we have 21 minutes okay so may reach the finishing line at 10.45 and if she were to continue to cycle for another 20, 21 minutes and that is the time when Lin will reach the end point okay so the time that Lin will reach it will be just 10 45 a.m plus 21 minutes we will get 11.06 a.m. Okay, so that's the answer. Alex and Ben ran in a race around a 400 meter track. Alex ran at a speed of 190 meters per minute and Ben at a speed that was 25 meter per minute slower than Alex throughout the race. How many complete rounds would Alex have finished if he had run a distance of 300 meters more than Ben? Okay, so first of all, we need to find the speed of both Alex and Ben. Speed of Alex it is 190 meter per minute, and the speed of Ben is 190 minus 25 because Ben was 25 meter per minute slower. So we have 165 meter per minute. Okay, so now we look at the distance between Alex and Ben. In one minute, Alex would be 25 meter in front of Ben. So the distance between them will be 25 meter. Okay, so 
right now if I want to know how long will it take for the distance between Alex and Ben to be 300 meters it will be just 300 divided by 25 okay we will get 12 minutes okay and in 12 minutes how far would Alex have run okay so distance ran by Alex in 12 minutes that will be 190 multiplied by 12 we have 2280 meters okay so how many rounds how many complete rounds is 200 2280 meters equivalent to so number of rounds is 2280 divided by 400 we will get 5.7 so at the point where Alex is 300 meters ahead of Ben Alex would have covered 5.7 rounds so the number of complete rounds that he has covered it will be round off we get five rounds. Okay, so that's the answer. A bakery and a library are 120 meters apart as shown in the figure. And they are located between Hong's place and Jay's house as shown below. The bakery is exactly halfway in between the two houses. So that means the distance between Hong's house to the bakery is the same as a distance from the bakery to J.S. house. Okay, one day, Hong and J.S. started cycling from their houses at the same time and they arrived at the library together. J.S. cycled at 70 meter per minute while Hong cycled at a speed 15 meters per minute faster than J.S. So, first of all, we can find the speed of Jaya which is 70 meters per minute and then the speed of Hong will be 15 meters faster so it will be 85 meters per minute okay and let us introduce X let the distance between Hong's house to the bakery be X and the distance between the bakery to J.S. house this will be x also okay now we can find out the distance traveled by both of them in terms of x okay so distance traveled by J.S. that will be from J.S. house to the library only so is x minus 120 okay and the distance traveled by Hong will be from the house to the bakery and to the library so that will be x plus 120 okay so how much further did Hong travel so you just take the distance traveled by Hong minus the distance traveled by Jian. So x plus 120 minus x minus 120. We get x plus 120 minus x plus 120. So we have 240 meters. Okay, so we can say that Hong cited. 240 meters further than JM. Okay, that will be the answer to part A. Okay, next. Okay, we can find out what is the time taken 
by Jaya to reach the library. Part B. There will be distance divided by the speed. So it will be x minus 120 divided by Jaya speed, which is 70. And the time taken by Hong, it will be x plus 120 divided by his speed of 85. And the time taken for them to reach the library is the same. So we can say that x minus 120 over 70 is equal to x plus 120 over 85. So in this case we have 85 times x minus 120 is equal to 70 times x plus 120. So we will have 85x minus 1 0, 2, 0, 0 is equal to 70x plus 8, 4, 0, 0. Okay, then we have 85x minus 70x. 15x is equal to 8,400 plus 10,200. That will give us 18,600. And x is equal to 18,600 divided by 15. That will give us 1240 meter. And if you want to find out how far is Jaya's house from the library, okay, we just need to distance from Jaya's house to the library will be just x minus 120 meters that will give us 1120 meters okay so the answer is 1120 meter